Assalamu alaikum and welcome to another session on IT and Automation Academy's YouTube channel. In this particular video, we are going to make another SCADA tutorial. One of the very, very important topic on the scripting and animation in SCADA. First step is you have to click on in touch here and here you have to create a new project. In order to do that, you have to just click on in touch SCADA and then you have to click on next new application here you have to write SCADA animation you can name this one as SCADA animation 2 click finish now the project has been already created you have to double click and open it the next step is to create a new window you can name it window 1 so the first thing you can do here is you have to get into the wizards and you have to get into symbol factory click on that and here for sure you would be looking for the tanks so just press T on the keyboard you will have different sort of tanks here I'm gonna select the twink of my choice I would be just selecting this normal easy to use this tank just double click on this and here you can go to the animation and here you have to just click on person fill and create a tag random tag you can just take uh, say temp because I would be using the same tag for the level so that I can use the same tag without any confusion for our conveyor belt animation as well so I would be just selecting okay define is it not or it's not already defined it would ask you to define it so you can definitely do that one thing to make sure is that your type should be memory real so you can select that from here and then after this you can just save it once you are done with this uh, you can just definitely click ok on that right click in here you have to just get into the windows script first of all let me write quickly script and then I will explain you what it is so if you see this script the first condition is if your temp which is the temporary variable we created just now if that is less than 100 every millisecond one would be added into the current value of the time till the time it reached 200 if your value is greater than or equal to 100 that mean if your value that mean your value is reached to the full level at that time you want temp to start from the beginning like the level should start from 0 to onwards so that's why if your value reaches 200 that moment you want temp to be 0 you want temp equal to you want temps to start from the beginning that's why you can see here when temp is greater than or equal to 100 you want to start it from zero if you see the animation that's how it works from the zero to 100 position it's just adding one every time when it reaches 200 it is starting from zero if you see every time you're doing addition this is through this condition if you see once you reach 200 and it starts from zero this is through this particular condition that's how you write in a script at the back end you can just select ok to that and run it you see that now the application is running very nicely from uh, from zero it's adding till the time you reach 200 when it's reached 200 it would start from zero again so now we can add in some other animations to that as well as we talk about that earlier so we can add in some animations like you can have a look at that so if we get into symbol factory and we get into conveyors so we can definitely select this conveyor make it big and we can make it like this and after this we can definitely add our horizontal conveyor as well and for the ball we would be using this circle so this is 
going to be the circle that we have and uh, we need that horizontal as well so we can definitely get back to symbol factory and here we have to select on this double click on that and get in some horizontal conveyor as well so you got in horizontal conveyors here as well so um, now we can animate this box so that it should look like moving in here so for that what we can do it's in vertical moment so you can definitely get into location of that vertical just select 0 to 200 similar here and here on the vertical moment you are going to start from 0 to 250 click OK and here you are definitely going to select the expression we created temporary variable because we can use the same script for the both applications that's why I would be selecting this temp and would be clicking OK let me see the first badge of it you see that it's moving down to this position let's see how it moves and where it ends so we got it this we got half of it done so what we would be doing once we get this we can add another box for horizontal animation clicking on that and click on location and here we would be selecting the same tag and horizontally we would be moving it between 0 to 250 as well so let's select and see ok and let's see how it works now So now it looks perfect animation. This tutorial was all about how to do scripting in Wonderware in Touch SCADA and how to write a script and how to make animation in Wonderware in Touch SCADA for tank animation and also if in the case you want conveyor animation as well. So you can use this tutorial for that reason. So I hope you like this video. This was pretty much it for today. Till next video, take care.